There's change in the air. With tumbling temperatures and falling leaves, fall has arrived. And for some, the seasonal switch signals a good time for plastic surgery. There are two seasons that are high in my practice. I think the fall and then the winter are substantially busy times for me. Plastic surgeon Dr. Sean Doherty says when fall arrives and the days cool off, his practice heats up. My patients who ask for bigger procedures, so say facelift or an abdominal plasty that requires a little bit more downtime and they need to hide from things a little bit more, those patients tend to come to see me in the winter for that. Doherty says winter is the perfect time to use bulky clothing like sweaters and pants to cover up any bruising or swelling from liposuction or a tummy tuck. And turtlenecks and scarves can be used to hide facelifts or eyelid surgery. Experts say just like that, spring has sprung and so has the desire for a fresh, natural look. At least in the Boston area, the spring is crazy, but our spring starts late. Dr. Christine Hamori sees it each year when spring rolls around. People, but mostly women in particular, start thinking about getting ready for beach season and looking their best. So it starts sometime in late March or April. Women are starting thinking of their bikinis, and that's when we're doing a lot of breast augmentations and planning them. The off-peak season for plastic surgery may be the middle of summer when vacations and camps are at an all-time high. And that's when the experts say you should consider Botox and fillers. Those are non-invasive treatments that require very little recovery time. That way you can get back to your summer fun. But as soon as kids head back to school in late summer, experts say that's when the mindset kicks in, making it the right season to consider cosmetic surgery once again. For the Plastic Surgery Channel, I'm Dawn Tongish.